Look, I bought some puberty. It's finally starting to come in. It wasn't cheap. I had to get a second loan, but I finally bought some puberty. Winter is most definitely here. And that snowman I tried to build last time, I'm gonna rebuild it. I need some gloves. This is some good snowman making snow. That's right, fuck you, Winter. I am the police. That wasn't my best idea, and my feet are cold, and I have to go actually do things. So I'm gonna put the winter tires on the truck because winter is here, obviously. That was dumb. So I've been working a lot. Oh, damn it. I've been working a lot lately, and I have a lot of time to think I work, and I'm like, oh man, I just wanna make videos and, and do car things. And what the hell's behind the door? Wow, the low light's good in here because there is not much light in here right now. Super things. I'm thinking about going automatic. Don't hate me. So I did buy some tire racks that I have to put on the wall. We used to store our tires at Denise's horse barn, but um, yeah, it burnt down, so we don't have them there anymore. So we're gonna put some of these racks up this year and then maybe find somewhere else to store them next year. Damn. It looks funny, but I did it because it's funny. These are directional, so this one belongs you can see how like the, the tread in the middle goes towards the middle. So whatever way it's pointing on the middle, that's the side that rolls forward. And so this outside of the rims here, this goes on the other side. Loosen off all these lug nuts before I put it in the air. So I did buy like a, a shotgun microphone. The red is really bad for video. Um, I did buy a shotgun microphone, but it's like really good at when I'm pointing at me. But if I turn it around, then the sound gets all stupid. Kind of hear it, right? So I'm probably gonna have to get like a 360 degree microphone thingy. I'm gonna open the garage door, cause the red in here makes videos really dumb. And it was a really dumb idea, I think. If I had to pick one tool that I like really like, it's like this little cordless impact thing that you can put bits into. I love it. Sounds really dead though. Now on the front, we do have some mud guards that have to go on. They do have a pretty gay Chevy logo, but it's the only ones they had at Canadian Tire, so. Remember that fucking squirrel that ruined my last video?
There he is again. Cocksucker, he's ruining my video again. I'll kill you. You're lucky I don't own a Pelica. I realize the lighting sucks now, but I have to close the door because that damn squirrel's ruining everything. Um, these are just gonna fit on. Somewhere there. I'm not going to film this because Denise already did this in another video. If you wanna watch it, Denise installs the last ones on the back. And that video is like four videos down or something. When you do torque your wheels, um, make sure that you torque them twice. So you're gonna to wanna to torque them down the first time, especially on alloy wheels. You're gonna to wanna to torque them down the first time and then drive it for about 100 kilometers and then torque them down again. Cause alloy wheels are known to like back the lug nuts off. I've seen it happen a lot of times and you really don't want a wheel flying off when you're doing like 100 kilometers down the highway. So torque them twice, make sure you do it. It doesn't look so bad. That's good for a work truck. I'm gonna have to go wash this and I'm gonna bring the tires with me, the old ones, and wash those too and get those ready for storage. Um, I don't know if I'll get around to installing those racks today, but I have to do that. I do have to work a night shift tonight. That's kind of why I'm not pushing hard for anything right now. Time to do some running around things, so. Dirty. Scratch. No keys. Push to start. Shut up. All right, I know I haven't done uh, like a review on this juke yet, and I plan on doing it. It's just we washed it and then it got dirty, and I don't want to take videos of it dirty. So I'm waiting for a set of mud flaps for it. You can hear all the dirt and mud on the road from the whole cleanup thing. Anyway, some of the things that I do like about it is I really love the styling of it. Some things that it could have that it doesn't come with is a remote start. It doesn't have like a, a remote start even built in from the factory. The seats, even though they're bolstered and nice, they're only manual like reclining and moving. There's no electronics to them and they're not heated. That's another thing that they could change. It's probably just a Nismo thing. This thing does handle like awesome in the snow. It does have a set of um, no can Hakchapalakala R2 tires. I don't know how to pronounce it, but they grip like awesome. Uh, it has a CVT transmission and it's kind of like rubber bandy. So the power comes on like real gradual when you floor it. I can floor it now, like now it's floored. And then it kind of comes on, but it it's different than a traditional transmission, I find. Anyways, it's hard to explain, but it doesn't allow the wheels to slip as easy. So the power comes on gradual, along with the all-wheel drive and the torque vectoring all-wheel drive. It kind of, it's like pretty awesome. You can't purposely throw this in. Well, I mean, you could purposely throw it in the ditch, but if you're trying not to throw it in the ditch, it's pretty good. It does have a little over 3,000 kilometers on it already too. Like I said, I'll do a proper review on this after. I'll get like, some cool intro music and I'll get some cool 50 millimeter lens shots and I'll get some cool in-camera car view shots and some cool snow skids. Uh. I am the polis. I also noticed in my last video when I was like, oh no, my address is on this box. It wasn't actually my address, it was the post office address because I get everything shipped to the post office because they can't deliver it to my house right now. So the address on that box was the post office. So if you did happen to send dildos to that address, it's actually just going to the post office. Okay, glad we cleared that up. Once again, this is like my transition between days and nights. So I do have to work. I worked yesterday and now I have to work tonight. So I'm gonna have to go buy more food for tonight. I can't stop admiring my mustache when I keep looking at the camera. And I'm always looking at the side screen and not the lens. So if I look cross-eyed or something and retarded, then that's probably why. 
People stare at me when I have the camera set up. So yeah, I'm actually going food shopping for night shifts. I'll do my night shifts, and then when I get off nights, when I get off nights, we're gonna start tearing apart that Mustang, I promise. And that'll be fun. And we'll figure out what blew up, and we'll put it back together, and then we'll drive it next season. I'm also really torn about the Supra because I really don't want to stay, I don't really want to stay six speed anymore. I kind of want to go TH400 swap. And the main reason is the V160 is like a six to $8,000 transmission now and I don't want to grenade it. Plus I want to go fast. So the logical move would to be go to an auto. And I think that's what I want to do. Now with this DSLR, I can't actually take it in the store without looking like a complete douchebag. So I don't actually take it with me. It's just too big. And I've never actually used it to its full potential. So I don't know why I got a DSLR. It was a dumb move on my part, I think. One day I'll use it good. So Denise is really into the Beanitos. And they're never in stock. So I found them and bought five. Now what I should do is just hide them all and not give her any. I am the police. There's a 50-50 chance I'm going to get KFC right now. And by 50-50, I mean 50 out of 50 chances I'm getting KFC. It is getting good gas mileage though. I think I'm getting like seven liters per 100 kilometers and we just bomb around all the time. You know what's funny? This thing weighs less than my Supra weighs. KFC, how can I help you? Can I get a spicy Big Crunch combo? Okay, what kind of drink please? Uh, Diet Pepsi. Okay, would you like to add gravy or poutine? No thanks. Anything else? I gotta watch the waistline. No, that's it. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a day. Hey, I'm allergic to junk food. So typically I'll just usually like eat and um, watch TV and get ready for work. I'm thinking about trying to start a separate series things about shit people say, so like shit mechanics say or shit car guys say or shit car guys girlfriends say and yeah so i've kind of been brainstorming ideas for that and that's something i think i want to pursue let me know what you guys think about that make fun of me and my mustache i'm gonna keep growing this where i work i can't have like facial hair anywhere here because we're required to wear like a dust mask thing if we need to so we have to be clean shaven but you are allowed a mustache and kind of the beard thingy. So um, yeah, I'm gonna keep this for a while and see how greasy I can get it. And in case you guys are wondering what my setup is for computer wise, I have a Dell XPS. That's like five years old. It has an upgraded video card. It has like a TTX 650 Ti, I believe. Some upgraded RAM and a power source. And it works okay. So I just use Sony Vegas. You can see this is like my last vlog. It kind of just uh, plays through. It's a bit laggy right now. So that's my setup. I'm gonna edit up this other video and peace easy. That'll be my new thing, my new outro thing. We used to say it a lot when we were younger and I'm bringing it back. So a lot of my older friends who watch videos will understand, but new guys, it'll be my new thing. Cause I don't actually have a thing. Like everyone says a thing at the end, like, I think TJ Hunts is like, keep moving forward. So mine'll be peace easy. Peace easy.